All right, the government just released the February employment report. We see these reports. We're like, eh, I don't know what that means, but you know who does? Jill. We can just ask Jill. CBS News business <laughs> analyst Jill Schlesinger is live for us this morning. Good morning, Jill. How you doing? Doing well. All right, let's get into it. What were the February results? The economy produced 275,000 jobs. That was better than expected. We thought there'd be maybe 200,000. But employment in the prior two months, in December and January, were revised lower. And it was a real number by 167,000 total jobs. That doesn't mean that the economy is going off the rails. It just means that the initial reports always go through two subsequent months of revisions. Now we're revising lower, which may mean that the employment landscape is shifting a bit. Now, the unemployment rate did tick up to 3.9%. Wage growth moderated just slightly to 4.3% from a year ago. This was still a pretty solid report. So if people have been paying attention, uh, Jerome Powell, the Federal Reserve Chairman, testified, testified before Congress this week. Um, so what did he say? How did he describe the current employment situation, the overall economy? What was the, what was the scoop there? Powell said the labor market does remain relatively tight and that you can see that with the job creation, which is still pretty strong. Now, that labor market has propelled economic growth. The interesting thing about that is that as it also propels growth, we tend to spend more, which can contribute to inflation. Now, Powell noted there's certainly been great progress on inflation over the past year, but that inflation rate remains above the Fed's longer run target. So people always want to know about the interest rates. Did the chairman indicate that there were going to be any changes in the interest rates at the uh, Fed meeting that's coming later this month? Well, he said rates are unlikely to go any higher from here, so that's good news. But the central bank is probably going to lower them later in the year because I think that what uh, Chairman Powell really wants us to know is that they are data dependent. The Fed wants to become more confident that high inflation rates are truly behind us. If you look at the bond market right now, they believe the first rate cut will occur at the June meeting. Mm, okay, we'll be watching and I know you will too. Jill, thank you. You can catch Jill regularly on CBS Mornings and the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. And of course, every week right here on QC Morning. Have a great weekend, Jill. We'll see you next week. You, you too. Alrighty.